Hey everyone, welcome back to the next vlog. It is Saturday in NYC. I'm actually waiting for my parents to arrive. I think they're about a half an hour away. I told you in the last vlog that they're here in New York for two days, so today and tomorrow, and then we go on holidays to St. Lucia on Monday. I think I haven't told you that yet. I think I haven't told you like where we're going. It's in the Caribbean. It looks absolutely amazing. It's actually only four hours from New York, so that's why they're coming here first, just for like a mini holiday here and then we'll all go there together on Monday. I am so excited as you can see behind me packing has commenced it's like I want to say 70% done. I still have a few little bits to get um, over the weekend now and just kind of finalize what I want to wear and stuff. I like to plan my outfits as much as I can like have them like 90% ready because it just like saves time when you're away and stress and trying to put outfits together it's just easier if they're all like ready to go so I have a few bits down here and then I actually got a good few new bits um, and they're on the rail over here but before my parents come um, we actually did loads during the week this week and I actually took a lot of footage so let me show you what we've been up to on Tuesday we went and did one of our favorite things in New York we walked over Brooklyn Bridge don't you know that my love is true let's make things right I understand what you're going through stay one more night and I know that it's not too late let's make things right you just have to believe in faith was literally still so perfect it was so good all this week so we went to central park which is absolutely beautiful this time of the year it's wednesday i am just finished filming a video can't stand up right here um we filmed uh, another one of my one piece three ways video and we did the denim skirt this time so that video will actually already be live when this goes live so i'll be sure to link it below and now we're going outside just to quickly film this look so i can have it for a cutaway I love this look. I put it together this morning. I actually really like it. So I have my Burberry scarf. Um, this is the denim skirt, an oversized white shirt, YSL bag, and my Chloe boots. I'm finally trying to wear them more. Um, I bought them last summer and to be honest, didn't love them. They're just kind of like a bit of a weird, I know they're kind of a weird fit, but I'm giving them another chance for like a few weeks at the start of the summer. And if I see myself wearing them a lot, I'll keep them. And if not, I'm gonna just like sell them on like a secondhand site or whatever. So yeah, that's like the update about them. It is the most beautiful day outside. So honestly, we're kind of happy to have an excuse to get back outside again today and do some filming. Um, obviously we did shoots as well yesterday when we went over Brooklyn Bridge, but today is just too nice to stay inside all day. So we're gonna head out now and we will bring you with us. Okay, we're just in the park. Wow, it is the most beautiful day. Look at that. And then the end of the week was spent working and filming and getting all our work done before we head off. We filmed the dining room tour. Guess what we're filming? I'm not gonna show you because this I don't think the tour will be up by the time this video goes up. Kellen just went out to get us the last few bits. We're literally running around. We had a Pilates class this morning downtown. I didn't vlog though because I forgot my camera. Um, but we're home now. We're gonna film the tour and then I'll finally be able to show you. It turned out so nice. And then here we are today. So I figured I'd give you a quick recap. <laughs> I didn't almost like vlog enough together to make that into a little story. So I figured it'd be nice to show you anyway. But we're all caught up now. It's Saturday. As I said, my parents are on Almost here I have a little kind of lunch set up for us just something small though because we're going to the boathouse tonight and the apartment is squeaky clean there's nothing like having visitors to make you literally want to clean everything <laughs> and have everything perfect so place is clean I have the food set up I think they're like about 20 minutes away they text us when they landed and they were just getting a taxi so I think they're gonna just come here we're gonna chill maybe for like an hour um, I think they're actually staying in Kaylin's apartment this time though, but they're gonna drop some stuff here. And then we might go and do a tiny bit of shopping 
I think my mom actually wants to get something as well and I have to get a present for Tommy because it's his birthday while I'm away I'm so sad to be missing it it's just the way the timing worked out and the only week my parents were free um, but yeah I'm missing his birthday but we're going to celebrate tonight and tomorrow as well and then I'll celebrate with him again when I'm back but I want to like finalize his present I got a few bits yesterday and I have the card and everything but I have one more thing I want to get him so I'm going to try and squeeze in some time after my parents get here maybe they'll come with me to go get that and then we have the boat house tonight which will be so nice so that's the plan I might just quickly show you um what I got I actually went shopping in Zara last night pretty late but I didn't vlog or anything but I'll show you just a few bits that I got this place here is a bit crazy but I got some I didn't get much but I got a few bits that I want to show you so first I got these gold sandals. I kind of wasn't sure about them when I saw them first, but then I put them on and they're actually way nicer on than they look off. So I got them, I thought they'd be pretty handy just for the nighttime in St. Lucia. And they're just like a simple classic sandal to have for all summer. So I got them, I think they were around $50. I also stocked up on lots of like white and black t-shirts. Loads of you asked me where I get my basic white t-shirts and basic like black t-shirts or whatever color and it's always Zara. They're in my opinion the best like they're good quality but they're not like crazy expensive because to be honest these don't last like very long as in like I don't have a washing machine and dryer so I have to like bring them to a laundrette and I just feel like it wrecks them all the time so I have to buy them kind of regularly but these are my favorites I got a few different variations I think the dearest one was like nine dollars and the rest they were like seven or something so got them and then also these weren't a purchase this time but remember I showed these I think it was in a haul and so many of you were asking about them they're not online but I saw them if you're in New York I saw them in the Soho Zara last night they had like I think six or seven pairs so maybe they're back in all the stores now so if you did want to get them keep an eye out in your local stores and then that's kind of it clothes wise i also went to sephora though and i got kind of boring stuff but like holiday appropriate stuff i got this sun cream because obviously i'm going to do tan tonight i'm completely pale no tan on but i'm going to tan for the holiday i know most people go on holidays to get a tan but not with this redhead skin it's so annoying but i'm just used to it now so basically i'm going to put on my tan tonight and tomorrow i'm going to do two layers of my usual be perfect and i think what i've learned is the key to making it last throughout the trip is to use oil free sunblock so I literally have been searching so many places to try and find oil free sunblock and it is so hard to find it like there's hardly none that are oil free but I found this one it was kind of pricey but hopefully it'll be good and it looks like it's a really small bottle I think it was like $30 or something but it's SPF 50 I always wear 50 and you can use it on your face and your body it says it's a brand super goop so these were actually at the reward sale conference I actually meant to talk to them um so I recognize their branding in Sephora but I think it was like $28 um so yeah I got that so if you're also someone who wears tan in the summer and you still obviously want to be protected and don't want to get sunburned I'll let you know how this goes I'll wear it during the holiday and I'll show you in my next vlog how it goes and then I'm obsessed with Desi Perkins <laughs> Ken actually got me into her she's a youtuber loads of you probably know her but she's mainly like beauty and she went to Dubai recently and I watched her Dubai vlog and she said that she wore this CC cream as her foundation on the whole trip. She said it was really light but also good coverage so I got this. It's It Cosmetics. I'm not sure where else they they sell if they're online or whatever. It's my first product from them um, but I got it in Sephora and Soho as well. It's CC cream. Um, 50 SPF as well and it says it's color correcting full coverage anti-aging hydrating serum so there's a lot in there so I'll let you know how that goes as well because obviously I don't want to wear like heavy foundation all the time when I'm on holidays like even when we go for dinner and stuff I want to feel just kind of light and glowy so I think that should be nice so I'll keep you updated on those two in my next vlog um I'll be vlogging now the rest of the weekend, all this evening, and tomorrow. Not really sure what we're actually going to do tomorrow. Um, we still have to make a plan for that, but yeah, I'll vlog anyway, and then we leave first thing Monday morning, so that'll be the start of the next vlog then. So yeah, I'm going to just finish getting ready now. They're nearly here, and I'll vlog more when they get here. They're here. Say hi, Mom. Hi. We're back. We're en route to the boat house. The whole gang is here. Um, we just had one drink in JG Melons on 74th, and now we're going to go over our, appoint our reservations at half eight. It's such a nice evening as well. It should be lovely there now. I'm in black and white, my Zara collapse, and this kind of like fancy top that I have for a while that I hadn't worn. Um, 
kind of casual, but it's very humid. Sunday. Um, I actually didn't even vlog that much last night. I was just catching up with everyone and I always forget to vlog when I'm like, you know, with my family, which I think is a good thing to be honest. But it was so nice in the boat house. My first time having dinner there, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, today now we are off again, but before I go and like get dressed and stuff, I want to show you because I just did my tan. So I figured I would show you how it looks. This is literally just on now. One coat, you can see on my arms. Oh, I feel so much better already. It's like the easiest tan to put on. Um, Because I always kind of talk about the tan and stuff in my vlog, but I've never actually kind of shown you it like right after application. And it's actually a little bit darker in person than it looks on the camera. This has gone pretty bright. Let me put it back to normal. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think you can see I put it on my legs. Um. Packing is still going on. <gasps> I made a new purchase yesterday. If I get time before we leave, I'll, I'll show you. Um, I did my legs, my whole body. I got, got Tommy to help me with my back. <laughs> the poor boyfriends, they go through such um, pain with the tan. Um, but he did my back for me. And then I'm gonna see how it looks. We're heading out for the day, but I'm gonna come back tonight. I'm gonna shower. Cause I actually always like doing my tan in the morning because this one dries so quick. I swear, it dries in like 10 minutes. I got the hair dryer and just kind of dried it a little bit. And I'm gonna come home tonight, have a shower. And if I don't feel that it's like dark enough because I want it to last, I'm going for eight days. So I really want it to last. I probably will top it up while I'm there, but I want it to be nice at least the first four or five days anyway. So I might put on a, a light second coat and then I'll shower in the morning before we go to the airport. So I'll let you know later, but really, really happy with the first coat. It looks so nice and natural. This is the exact one I used. I usually do the medium for like my day to day but for Coachella and for this trip I've used the dark watermelon. Like to be honest like it's definitely a good bit darker but it still looks really really natural. It's not like orange or too much and after a shower especially it's even more natural. So I definitely recommend that if you're going on a trip or if you have an event maybe or a wedding or something that you want to be a little bit darker than your regular day to day. This is what I'm kind of going for at the moment and I still wear the medium then just like normal like work days and stuff. And don't forget too I have a code um, retro15. If you ever want to try it you might as well use the code. I work with them. I'm one of their ambassadors um, and they've given me a code so Retro 15 will get you 15% off if you buy online. Definitely give it a go. Like if you're if you're pale like me, I promise you, it is so good. It works really, really well. I put a bit on my face too. I have a little bit of um, tinted moisturizer on over it, but even on your face, I'm not sure if we're supposed to use it on your face. I just kind of gave it a go. Kaylin said she did as well and it was fine. She didn't break out or anything. Like I am wary of tan on my face. So let's see, I did a little bit for Coachella, but not loads on my face, but I put a bit more on this time. Um, so I'll see, I didn't break out for Coachella, but I did put a bit more on this time. So we'll see, um, but I'll let you know anyway in the next vlog all throughout the holiday and I'll let you know how it wears and everything and that so yeah definitely give it a go if you're looking for anyone. Yeah. 